Dan the Thief presents Black Box in 2021. Hello, everybody. This is Dan Matheny here. I'm going to talk about using Black Box in 2021. That's right. The Black Box Window Manager. It's been out since 2001. I remember messing around with this on Windows back in the day. And uh, if you want nostalgia, not everything I have is perfectly lined up especially when it comes to the keys in a uh, black box and black box because the BB keys feature will not pick up your configuration in the home directory very well so you have to edit it through user share BB keys if you install that program <clears throat> so this is more of a nostalgic option if you really want this and I'm going to show you how to run this in your display manager through X sessions. And um, it's a little different, okay? And some people may not agree with this, and I understand why, because some of these options are not safe to do. It's not safe to edit BB keys through your user share BB keys. It's not. So it's not going to work properly or it will go to default. But anyway, let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to go ahead and I'm running Rofi in here. There's compositing, the PyCom, the newer, you know, the edited version of Blackbox, which is still like it's 0.76. This is the, the uh, newer version of Blackbox, basically, but it's still the same old Blackbox window manager. Okay. So what I'm going to type right now is let's just go ahead and type PC Man FM. So, I'm just going to show a little bit of this uh, configuration file here. I'm going to show the configuration through black box. So here it is. I got this set up for a reason so I can remember what everything is. Now, the reason why this is separate from the auto start is because when you run black box or when you change a style, the black box RC will completely overwrite. So that's why I have an example right there. And my BB startup looks like this. Okay. Everything works pretty good though, considering. But I'll show this in a terminal instead. I mainly use Spectre WM more than anything else, but I wanted some nostalgia and I wanted something to play with. But I'll show I'll go ahead and show this in a terminal. I'm just gonna do kitty here to show you guys. How this works. Okay. I got kitty right here so I'll just show you guys how this works I'm gonna make this bigger here so the first thing I want to show you is I'm gonna show you the BB startup and by the way I'm using Arch Linux right now so I'll go ahead and show you an example. Okay, so in the startup, I have exec user bin black box. Okay, and this is the startup script I created. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is now show you the black box RC file. So, okay, so for this, I have the root command is nitrogen dash dash restore because if you start your black box session or if you change a theme it will overwrite your black box RC file so you're gonna have to retype you know whatever wallpaper you want for that reason um, and the menu writer of choice you know to write the menu is menu maker I've used that for years it works fine there's tons of styles for black box and I have my toolbar the way I want it you know and I'm fine with this little grayish brownish theme for my configuration purposes here. okay so now what I want to do is show I'm going to show user share X session X sessions so what I have right here is different because the default would be exec user bin black box and then the tri exec would be the same 
user bin black box. What I had to do here was do slash home slash dan slash dot black box slash bb startup. And the reason why I had to do that is just so I can auto start some of the stuff I wanted to auto start. But the reason why nitrogen is separated is because when you start that, if you put nitrogen in your BB startup and then exec black box, it won't run. So you have to have that as a separate root command. Uh, it works, it will show on light DM. That's running black box in 2021. I've had no problems with it. Some of the keys in BB keys doesn't want to work, but I can move to workspaces with my alt key but I like using the alt key a lot of people like using the super key and the menu works you know I'm sure I can do things a little different um, and like I said you know this is like a work in progress I got it set up the way I want it to I have my shortcuts right here if I want to go to YouTube if I want to do the kitty terminal or whatnot that's what I have so this is still a work in progress but it will log in Right, it was updated about a year ago. I would say, you know, this isn't going to be for everybody. This is nostalgic for me because I remember using this 20 years ago. Okay, so you know, this doesn't work, but I can alt tab between windows, I can go to cheese if I want to, and uh, I can go to there and I can switch workspaces. So, this is kind of like you know, something that I like to use, and uh, I don't have to cancel out all the windows, or if I want to cancel out the window, I can't, or I can just go to another workspace and run whatever. Right? I can run another terminal here if I want to. So I can run Alacrity and then if I want to play Doom I can just go to my Doom directory and you know figure out what game I want to play. So I could do something in one workspace and go back to another. So there you go folks. Black Box 2021. 2021 it's a lot of fun. 2021 but this is meant for nostalgic purposes everything works as it should for me and uh, I'm happy with it I do not recommend doing what I do though with uh, certain things certain aspects but that's because I've been playing around with a lot of stuff lately especially different window managers and stuff of that nature um, but I got nothing else to add to this you know you can use this and everything can work good especially you know the compositing so some some of the things on here do work good okay and um, now I got my wallpaper right there if I want to run that um, anyway I hope you guys are having a good day and I hope I see more people playing with black box 2021 classic box window manager that inspired flux box and open box peace and love